This is incredible. Somebody had their phone screen photographed, and that was how a guy got onto a Delta flight that he wasn't supposed to be on. Because he took a pic. This is this is insane. A snowboarder trying to get home was taking pictures of people's phones displaying their boarding passes. Most people these days, maybe not most, but a lot of travelers, you still see the paper boarding passes that people get printed out at the kiosks down at the check-in in the airports. But a large percentage of people, Michelle and I just traveled. Yeah. We had no paper tickets. We had no paper boarding passes. Michelle and I just you know, went to New York and back Friday through Tuesday. We were totally app-based. We used our Delta apps for our, our boarding passes for the QR to put on the scanner. Yeah, you scan it, you uh, go right through. So listen to this story. And again, this is a ballsy move. A guy from Texas has been arrested on felony charges. He boarded a Delta flight in Salt Lake City, and he was trying to get the back to Texas, trying to get back to Austin. So this was a Delta flight. On Sunday, Salt Lake City to Austin, Texas. This guy who said he was a snowboarder, I don't know whether he was doing Park City or you know where he was snowboarding, but this dude was able to get through security. You're probably saying, well, hang on a minute. How did he get through security? Because he had a buddy pass. From a friend who works for Southwest. So he was able to legitimately get past security and screening, legitimately get through the screening process at TSA, get to the sterile side where the gates are. And he ended up trying to get on a Delta flight, which he did. He got on the flight, but uh, he didn't think this plan out very well. And I'm going to explain why. So the dude has been arrested. He's been hit with felony charges. He used the photo of another passenger to get on the Delta flight. He, uh, once he was arrested, he said, I made a mistake. I was, I was only trying to get home. Wycliffe Flusser. What? What's his name? Wycliffe, W-I-C-L-I-F-F. Last name is Florizard. F L E U R I Z A R D. It's like combining fluoride and a blizzard. Uh, yeah, I guess so. T- 26 years old. He boarded a Delta flight again to Austin, Texas from Salt Lake City. Security footage. Once they went back and looked at the security camera footage from the gate area, he was just creeping around the Delta gate area. And looking at people's phones, and you could see on the video, according to airport police, he was taking pictures of people holding their phones with their boarding pass on their phones on the Delta app. Man. He was taking pictures to then use the picture Mm -hmm. as the scannable boarding pass. Wouldn't the scanner have caught that before? The same well, QR code I, gets I, checked I'm, in twice? I'm glad you asked that question. I'm full of good questions. He boarded first, and then an unaccompanied minor who was traveling, that's the victim. Ultimately, the unaccompanied minor had the boarding pass on their phone. He was apparently able to get the clearest shot of the boarding pass of the unaccompanied minor right in the Delta gate area. He boarded first. Then the unaccompanied minor attempts to board, and guess what? The system kicked it back and said that this boarding pass had already boarded the flight. So already the Delta gate agents are like, what the heck is going on? How did did this unaccompanied minor already get checked in? So the footage shows that this uh, guy from George, Texas, this uh, Wycliffe Florizard, that he was wandering the gate area looking for 
uh, a dupe looking for a, a victim that was holding their phone in a way that he could go over their shoulder, take a picture of their boarding pass, and then use it to scan. I wonder if he'd done that for an adult. I wonder if there if he would have gotten caught because maybe with the adult, they would have just been like, sorry, I don't know what kind of scam you're pulling. Uh, but with the kid, they investigated it further because it's a kid by himself. Roxanne, uh, good thinking. However, I don't know if this guy banked on the possibility. Every seat on the Delta flight was filled. Mm. So there was nowhere for him to sit. And the plot... Quickly unraveled. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so the boarding pass that the unaccompanied minor tried to use had already scanned in, so they're scratching their heads. Then on board the flight, the flight attendants noted that this guy, Florizard, was starting to behave a bit strangely once he was on the plane. And obviously had to conceal the fact that he didn't have a seat. And... He then went to the lavatory. He <laughs> tried to sneak into the lavatory, and he was in apparently multiple lavatories because he had to go somewhere. There were no seats. Every seat on the plane was taken. So this guy's plan backfired. If there were empty seats, he might have gotten away <laughs> for it. If it wasn't for those meddling passengers and those meddling filled seats. One empty seat is all he needed. That's yeah. it. That's it. One. One seat. Every single seat on this Salt Lake to Austin, Texas Delta flight oh. was sold out. Every single one. So he's like, oh, crap. So then he tries to hide in the restrooms and he's moving around in the, in the restrooms, right? Are they on the so, ground or in the air? Uh, this was on the ground still. Okay. So when flight attendants confronted him as he's wandering around and every seat on the plane is taken... Uh, that's what I guess he actually copped to his scheme. Uh, oh, he, the, the flight attendants, I guess, asked him, hey, where's your seat? And he pointed to his seat, which was already occupied. <laughs> All right? So that, that was another, like, dead giveaway. But can you imagine the balls on this guy to attempt this? So, he again, he gets through. He got through security legitimately because he had a Southwest Airlines buddy pass you know, pilots, uh, employees of Southwest, flight attendants, they they get a certain number of buddy passes where they can give friends and family a certificate to get on a flight. So he had a buddy pass. That's how he got through security. But then he tries to get on this Delta flight back home to Austin, Texas. And I mean, imagine. You mean I go through security, I have to show my ID, show my ticket, have the guy ask me to take my ball cap off, Give me a glare. Yeah. Let's me through. And this guy just whips out a buddy pass. He's like, all right, you're good. Let's go. That's how they work. He was able to get through. All right. He is one empty seat away from pulling this whole thing off. Yeah, exa- well, that's the point. Yeah. Well, you know what else he could have done? He could have gone to the bathroom, maybe, and stayed in there and, like, held the door shut but not locked it. Because if it's locked, it would notify the flight attendant. Someone's in there. Knock, knock. You need to get back to your seat. We're taking off. A Transportation Security Administration spokesman said that we looked into the matter and learned that the individual in question was screened without incident at the security checkpoint at Salt Lake City International Airport on Sunday, March 17th, St. Patty's Day, uh, using a photo ID that matched the name on the buddy boarding pass. Yeah, so that's uh, that's crazy. So. So close. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. So, I don't know how that loophole worked, but he was able to get past security, but he fell short when, unfortunately, every seat on that Delta flight back to Austin, Texas was sold out. But, man, that takes some serious goal. If he could have just convinced that unaccompanied minor that the kid was at the wrong gate, he just got her to walk away for a little while, maybe he would have got away with it. Well, an unaccompanied minor is typically twelve. Uh, well, hold, hold, no, it's it's anything under I think sixteen or whatever it is. But the unaccompanied minors are generally have airline handlers. Oh. Yeah. So this uh, this unaccompanied minor uh, was in the custody of the airline, or there's somebody that makes sure that the kid gets on the plane, et cetera. Is typically, there 
Is there a young age, a too young age for unaccompanied minors? Yeah, it's below five. Usually, I mean, each airline is different, but it's like five and up is they can go. Yeah, six but, months. Yep, six months <laughs> is, is a little bit, um, a little bit too long. Yeah, yes. <laughs>